Hey guys, this is Matt Wilson here with PGE uh, Manufacturing. I'm here to show you a quick trick with Verisur. I'm the application engineer here at QGE, and my main focus is Verisur, Verisur support and training. We are going to go through multi-construct. This is a very useful feature when doing bolt hole patterns or typical distances. When you have a multiple of the same distance or construct you would be doing within the report manager. We are going to be using a Verisur test part. We're going to be doing a bubble circle. And let me jump into it. The first thing we're going to do is create a quick alignment. I always like to turn on um, only surface. It makes it a little bit neater. If you guys want to see any other tips and tricks, you can check out our website. QEMFG.com. And if you go to support, tech tips. Our alignment came out all right. Then we're going to accept it and we are going to measure this circle pattern right here. And what we're going to do is we are going to use our first four point to create a plane. Fit to a plane. And we'll use this plane for our projection on our circles. Four points. Let's go ahead and measure those. Okay, we're going to go through here and check our fits. Right click, construct, circle, check the nominal is good. We call this bolt hole. Bolt hole pattern diameter. This will be used as our center point. When analyzing angles, you use lines. So we're going to pick all these and we're going to go construct, multi construct. And we are going to make our lines. It's going to be one to two, one to three, one to four, which is the first hole, the center. And it's going to draw a line out to each of these circles. And we are going to do line. Okay. And from here, we're going to analyze each line to each other. So we're going to go from same one to two, two to three, three to four, so on. So this is going to work our way across all the holes. And we're going to do an angle. So that's it. We got all of our angles for all of our holes. So this is a real time saver when you're doing hole patterns, when you're doing distances. Sometimes you have long bars with a distance between holes, and it's a typical distance. You can do the same thing. 
it would just be from one to two, two to three, three to four, and you would do distance instead of angle or creating a line. It saves a lot of time from doing um, single constructs from each thing, and it would save you creating all those lines. It's a multi-construct. It saves, on this one, it saves us 16 steps. So that's a pretty good time saver when you're doing lots of stuff like this. If you have any other questions, comments, you can check us out at qtemfg.com under support. You can either give us a call or send us an email. And if you want, there's other tips on there. You can check them out. Thanks. Have a nice day.